Welcome back to Equisetum Gaming and our playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2 here in the epilogue with John and uh, you can see Charles as well We're just here cooking up some venison before we head out on today's little adventure um, so for today's episode, we are going to start off, we're going to head over to Emerald Ranch and sell off a bunch of the items that we picked up when we were cleaning out some uh, Del Lobos in the previous episode. And then we're probably going to go to Valentine because the... Carcano rifle is just really bugging me that it doesn't match all of the other guns that uh, John inherited from Arthur. So we are going to head over that way and fix that little problem and uh, probably uh, see what else we can get into before we uh, come back and visit with Sadie at the Blackwater Saloon to see what she has for us. Probably another bounty hunt. Make another explosive room. Okay. That should be it. Yep. Not gonna bother with all the big game meat because uh, John has enough other things now. We have 32 plain venison have some mutton, have some plain game, and we do have some regular big game, so we are good to go food-wise. You can see uh, Chance standing over there at the hitching post, and uh, we'll be working with her this episode, and of course always on the lookout for another horse. <laughs> you know me. You can never have too many. They're like potato chips. You can never have just one. But, uh... You know, Chance is a nice little horse, but... We'll be... Probably replacing, uh... Rachel, who's the thoroughbred that we started the epilogue with. Uh, when we get the chance, and then, uh... Chance would be the next one that we would let go of if we find something that we like better than the little Nakoda. Um, we'll be keeping Missy, who is our new, uh, what, Hungarian half-bred that looks like old boy. And we'll also definitely be keeping Buell. But both of them are up to level 3 bonding. So we will be working to uh, get them fully bonded, but not when we have horses of lesser bonding levels in the barn, in the stable, which Chance is only a level uh, one bond right now, so we'll see if we can get her hello again up to Go snuff. On, have yourself a quick nosy it's worth buying i'll buy it. <laughs> i'm sorry but i don't like seamus there with the mustache nice. he looks a little Shame ridiculous it, at least with that style of okay. mustache and of course we'll be keeping the native american ring Get rid of the silver pocket a few of these myself. I think that's it. Uh, yeah, the only other watch we have is the Redlinger. Um, anything to buy. Could get the uh, high roller revolver, but don't really care at the moment. Good on moonshine. All yours. Get some more gun oil. Oh, another? Might as well stock up on snake oil as well. Just... Yeah, that's good. Alright. 
Well, let's head on over to Valentine so that we can uh, fix up this Arcano rifle. Because it just doesn't match our other weapons that we inherited from Arthur. Still the one that uh, we got from uh, Sadie. The sheep weren't so close to uh, home. We could grab ourselves a sheep. Oh, you know, sheep. We do have a few pelts to sell, as well as all the big game we got, killing wolves and that black bear in the previous episode. Head on our way to Valentine Gunsmith and the Butcher. I like being back in the heartlands. It's pretty country. What do you think, girl? Can we catch ourselves a deer? <laughs> Maybe. I didn't mean to release it. Uh, we'll just say he's the one that got away. <laughs> it left to kill too soon. I was still dismounting the horse and it released the deer. over here. Some deer up here. Mm -hmm. Kind of a gloomy day in game. Looks like it's gonna rain. It is raining here at home in real life at the moment. Rather gloomy out. <laughs> so Something wrong with that bounty hunter's voice. Head to the butcher first and then go and uh, talk to the gunsmith. Certainly have the money right now to fix up this uh, rifle. Might also stop in at the uh, dry goods store, the general store, and pick up some oat cakes and some. Well, don't really need chewing tobacco, but yeah, we need some more oat cakes for our for our horses. Okay, level well two done, bonding. Bro. Nice. Level four health. Hey. Level four stamina. Good to see you back. Okay. 
Uh, a couple of pups. Yeah, seem to recall hearing mention of that myself. There we go. There. Been a pleasure doing business with you. Thanks, partner. All right. Up to seventeen ninety. Something slipped your mind before? Nope. I don't care how hard you worked yesterday. Good girl. Storm here at home is picking up a little more. Hopefully we don't lose power. I don't want to have to re-record this. <laughs> I could recover the file if we lose power, but it's just not the... Uh, Really worth picking up in the middle of it. All right. Hello, Back sir. For some more provisions. Got everything you need. Have a look. Hmm. We have everything stuff we could sell. Available but... for purchase. Provisions. Try good. Good doing business with you. Mm. Another one for you. Yeah, we'll get 20 of those. And... Index. Now what? I'm also going to... Look at pants because I realized I don't have a lot of pants at the moment. Seem a bit taken with that. Thank you. Nice. Mm, jeans. That's mighty popular these days. Little jeans, everyday pants. Ranch pants. You like the look of that one, huh? That. That. And Last black. Time. Yeah, that is done. On pants. Nah. We're good. That's all I needed. Can I get you anything else? Look around. No. So you're good. Yeah, I thought I had bought uh, a lot more clothing Thanks, for John to inherit from uh, you're a good girl now. from uh, Oh, it is cold. Should be snowing in game. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I had bought a lot more clothing for John to inherit from Arthur. But uh, most of what I got was actually from the Trapper, and the Trapper doesn't sell pants. He sells a lot of chaps, but he doesn't sell pants. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> John's a little short on clean pants to go with uh, his custom outfits. Evening. Oh, drain. You know, I, I've been drinking a snake one. Where? It, it don't okay. Oh, you let yeah. us... Welcome. <laughs> oh, 
Alright. Revolvers, pistols, repeaters, rifles. No. First off, treating like your own child, all right? Good on you. you. Thought about upgrading the stock? I got some nice ones. Yeah, this thing needs completely upgrade. Well, we inherited the long scope. Um, stock or wrap? No. This we are going to do. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. Alt. Frame. Site. And trip. Now that is a nice looking gun. Uh, varnish. Of course, we are going with the well, with mesquite. Well, Valentine connecting the west to the east, I get a lot of passing folks stocking up on bullets and weapons. And Some curving. of them may belong to a gang. Hey, how would I know? We'll go with the hook in honor of Arthur. My honor. Arthur. We want to do engravings. Um. I do quite a lot of blacksmith work in here, too. Don't mind the clutter. Yeah, we'll buy. All right. And now, now let me see. We'll stock up on ammunition. All right. Good, good. Mm -hmm. A lot of this is a waste, but it's yours now. There we go. Good enough. Very nice. All right. Thanks, partner. And we will head Mister. back to what? Blackwater. Blackwater, the new boom town. Read it here. Okay. Oh. Head out of town and fast travel and go meet Sadie. sleep until morning and then we'll go meet her so that we can do the uh, next bounty hunt during the day at least start it off during the day don't want to tear down you we want to Rest? Can we, uh... Yeah, there. Now we can fast travel. Blackwater. Those revolvers are gorgeous. <sighs> I love the pearl handles. <laughs> Should do that with more of my guns, but... I don't... I don't know. It's it's a balance between wanting everything to match and not being 
overly flashy versus, uh, you know, wanting, wanting the pretty shiny things in life. All muddy from Valentine. Fine, Philly. Howdy there. How is that? Yeah. Good. Well, she should be fast enough for this mission, at least. Okay. Well, let's head inside the saloon and uh, to talk to Sadie. Hello, Sadie. Oh, John! <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, you got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. <laughs> I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob him back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. I need to switch outfits. There's a new gang realm in the countryside. I hear they're run by. Come on, lady. Skinning the victims alive. Follow me. Let's. Hide. Yes, ma'am. No, I didn't want that outfit. Yeah. There. Morning, I want John's tailcoat outfit that, new that we. Some folk buy ranches. Some buy what? horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. <laughs> he is. He's a nice horse. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, wanna talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't 
do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there, whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? <laughs> Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Look. Nice what to know John can gang? admit that now. Changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket round me after the O'Driscolls. That weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. No, it and was now, not. He might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. Good He's man. Out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But not now. Come on. <laughs> I don't know why Sadie wouldn't uh, take John up on the offer to build a little cabin. Even bounty hunters need a headquarters, so to speak, where they can stash extra gear and horses and whatever else they might need. She doesn't have to live there. They'll be down there. So, James Langton, the bounty hunter, has got this outlaw you captured in a... Before we get there, I want to get my weapons up to snuff. Oh god, my guns need cleaned. I'm in the boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. Sorry. This thing needs cleaned badly. You're lagging, John. I know. I'm sorry. You ready? That one's not as bad. It'll be fine. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We no. Here. Abigail will kill you if you make a habit of it. <laughs> this is the place. It's a view, all right. Oh. Come on. Let's go take a look down in the valley. Okay. Hmm. Why do I have the bold action? I guess it wants me to have the bold action. I ain't sharing mine. That's fine. You don't have to. Anything? Not yet. Keep looking between here and that town. I'll be there somewhere. I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And <laughs> that big fat feller with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Hmm. Uh, come on. Let's go follow them. Oh, we need a... Let's go. Might as well pull out the uh ah. oh, crowder. They'll be coming through here. Follow 
and keep an eye on him. Okay. Whoa. Heading through the canyon. Yeah. I'll be there. Don't want my horse to spook. You don't want to go over that butte. Yeah. Don't want my horse to you spook won't get at it. Through here? What are you doing, huh? Are you, are you talking to me or Langton? Sorry, I ain't used to having anyone with me. <laughs> Sadie's talking to herself. My guess is they'll I think more people do that than uh, look are willing to admit to it. I'm not thinking this bunch ain't that hard. What one do we want? I want my shotgun. I like my shotgun. I don't like the double-barreled shotguns, but I do like the other shotguns. <laughs> Up here, get off your horse. This might be our chance. All right, what's it giving me? Everything I want. Good. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Mm. I'll sneak. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. John needs to uh, shave again. How <laughs> trunning. Rocky paths. Of course. Should have brought my bow. The bow would have been useful. You guys, blow us. Let's get closer. Oh, I forgot I had throwing those. Hmm. Regular? Or do I want to poison them? Oh, my goodness, machete them. <laughs> Charles likes to machete people. And tomahawk people. You take one of them, I'll take the other. You gotta throw a knife? Yeah, I gotta throw a knife. Bad as it is, we got to do something about these boys. That was clean. Okay, let's move. Up ahead. Except I got my knife back. Thank you. Very good. Damn squeaky bridges might be the death of us. Come on. They know we're here. Ah, you bastard. Where's my knife? Ooh. Nice. <laughs> I like it when, uh, we get nice facial shots of them after they do a kill like that. That's a horse. Where are we? Yeah. 
that one, that one. Who else? No one else. There we go. out for you, Sadie. Sorry. Get your guns out, John. Three more? We need our horses. Damn harpy. Come on, it's time to collect. Okay, you're taking fifth. Let's go. Get him on your roof. All right, let me loot a few more bodies. Yeesh. Let's go, let's go. But loot Finley, too. Listen, is it okay if I rob you? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> too bad, you don't got a choice in the matter. What's it look like? Get on there. Let's go, it girl. Didn't work out for you. Oh, oh, me. you should let me alone. Now let's get out of here. Come on. No. Come on. It's not going to be a death shot. Yeah, it is. On the ridge. behind us. And my mic's in the road. Give up, you fools! Turn around! More riders left again! Nope. Fun. There we go. And I think we might be free of Ride for it. Come on now. That was a lot of dead eye. <laughs> but I don't like shooting off horseback at full gallop. <laughs> it's not easy. Don't you I'm piss serious. on my horse. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still <laughs> protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? 
Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> Woof. That's it. Found it work ain't easy, Joan. No. But I can see now it has its rewards. Well, it's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. <laughs> Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. <laughs> Grab him and bring him in, Joan. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Damn you! That's your cell at the end there. We're gonna watch at least I'm kind say. enough to watch drop more. him on the bed. I didn't do anything. <laughs> No. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. <laughs> Here. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> uh. You want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Nice $200 payday. We did not do good on that mission. Yeah, I missed one at least with the horseback escape. <laughs> yeah. We don't do too well. Good girl. Clean up our little filly. Unfortunately, all of the shops are now closed. So I can't take John to get a haircut. That's better, girl. Hola. You're a good filly. What, what time is it? Not quite one o'clock in the morning. No. It's half past midnight on this. here to get our gear for, or not our gear, our supplies for, My cousin got arrested for shooting some for building a uh, barn in a house. Well, the house barn comes later. We'll head out to the plains. Camp for the night. Come back into town and get a haircut. <laughs> we'll build a house next time.
Yeah, you're a little shack. Really is a nice payoff. <laughs> hey, hey, come on! Don't go get all worked up, John, my boy. Maybe, maybe you got something to add here. Not just a cheap, but a coward. You piece Hands of crap. Hands off the old man, or I start making gun smoke. Ah, oh, screw this. Ain't worth my time. Thanks, John. Seems like they play some different rules around these parts. Uh huh. Yeah, I think I read that in the bottom of a bottle once. Oh, don't you start to. Anyway, I'll see you back at Beecher's. That's enough excitement for one day. Why are you Maybe drinking? You some coffee with your next pour, huh? <laughs> That's, uh, before 7 o'clock in the morning? Damn it, man. to a light post, but that's okay. Hello. Looking for a trim? Yes. Change the hair. Just the beard. Leave John looking like John. Come on then. Alright. Good morning, friend. Well, what's going on with the uh, Balloon. Don't really care. Not gonna mess with any more idiots in town. We will head back to Beecher's Hope and uh, wrap up this episode. Building a new bank. Can I rob your bank? Here there's a nasty case of crotch rot going around about the fellers and the docks. Yes, I heard about that. Okay, well, better So anyways. Say we had a successful little bounty hunt with uh, Sadie. So my pug gone off wandering again. Not sure what those folks are gathered about. Don't really care. Don't have time to investigate. Across any horse herds. Hunting. Horses are 
over here. They all look to be the same. All of them are Hungarian half crooks except for that yeah, they all are. Yep. Oh, bird. But we already have Missy. We don't need another one. Hungarians and Tennessee walkers. So that cougar we shot a few episodes back is now nothing but a rotted corpse. That's kind of cool. Doesn't seem to happen with uh, all the animals you kill, but occasionally you end up with things like that. I think it depends a little bit on uh, where it is you kill them. Got some more horses hanging out on this side. John, I think you need to start a ranch of Hungarian half -brins. And that's something that sort of makes me wonder about... Uh, the setup here is John will still use the stables to keep his horses even though he ends up with this ranch and has a barn and has other horses here all of his horses you uh, either have to go to the stable for or you can uh, call them from the pitching post here which ends up getting moved after the house gets built and now we are at level 3 bonding. Brush it off. Ooh. That is a good deal. So that means we can switch out to Yule or Missy for the next episode. And you know we like to alternate horses for episodes. So I'll brush her down a little bit more. There we go. And if you've enjoyed this episode, please give it a like. Consider subscribing. And we will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.